check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh. Back. We finish at the same time we say the higher. Oh, yeah. The gentleman's <laughs> dead. <laughs> Jeff and Sean, we're going old school tonight. Kayla is upstairs babysitting her niece's son, so that would make her the great aunt. Is mm. that how that works? I think we tried to figure this out multiple yeah. times tonight. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll run with that. Little, yeah. little hussy. She not, she not, not. Huddy's upstairs, which I walked in and he like ran up to me, had me pick him up, big hug. I'm like, I got the knuckles. I'm like, buddy, what's you up? You must look like a teddy bear. <laughs> he didn't want to. As man. soon as I walk in, he go, hey, hey, hey. He gave me the knuckles. Yeah, he instantly picked like. Oh. oh, look at that big fluffy guy. <laughs> and then I put him down. He was like trying to chase me down. I'm like, oh, hey, buddy. Did he catch you? No, I'm faster. Oh, really? One you person, still got it? One person I'm faster than. <laughs> That's fucking Run top. Run away from responsibilities. Look at me go. <laughs> well, yeah, for sure. You got to do what you got to do. No, but yeah, it's, so it's Jeff and I. And we took off last week because uh, Friday... <laughs> Better have a good excuse after so, that build up. Friday, our friend Ashley was in town, so Jeff and Kayla were. I was not. Or Kayla was in Kenosha. Yeah, she's she's getting it. She on. was hood ratting it up with yeah, her friends, hell yeah. with all of her hood rat friends. And uh, I was working TL Summer Nights, aka Corn Fest, but TL Summer Nights. And yeah, so why did they change the name? It, it it was just something new for this year. Next year it's back to it's back to Corn Fest. Yeah. But are they going to keep switching it? I don't know. I don't know. That's their uh, that's their bag. I just work it, which I enjoy working it. I I'm a firm believer in give back to the community when you can. It was fun. I worked uh, I worked with you Saturday. That was a lot of fun. We were running the the uh, admission, the tickets, and <laughs> we got. We got we hammered got for a little bit. <laughs> we got worse. I'm not going to lie. They put my... They I couldn't were, imagine running a festival. Jesus was, Christ. I mean, oh, this is a no. small town. The amount of people bitching about an $8 entry fee. Yeah, there was one guy who looked like he owned a yacht, but he refused to pay the $8. He ended up calling his wife, and he, we no, could he, hear him on the phone. He called his daughter. <laughs> He's like, asking if I see you, is it worth it? I see you I see you ski every week. And I'm like, "Sir, it's three different teams. It's all you can eat corn plus a whole bunch of other stuff. It's not a normal show." Yeah. And it's like an $8 donation basically to yeah. get into the fucking event. There's a lot of people running a lot of shit. It's like, "Dude, just give the 8 bucks." It's $8. And my favorite was the older ladies, I don't like corn. <laughs> and then five minutes. What about later, I like corn? <laughs> and then five minutes later, what did she like? Remember, she listed like five things she didn't oh, like. And I had to give them back three dollars because they're seniors. Remember? Oh, they, she, she came out the shadows like yeah. Nas fucking Feratu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just. What? And, did you just give those guys a discount? It was their for husbands. being seniors. It was their husbands. So mm. I gave them back their $3 each, and I was like, there you go. Then three minutes later, she's walking by with two ears of corn. Two ears of corn. And just dominating Double it. fisting the corn. After she told us, I don't like corn. <laughs> she didn't want to pay because she don't like corn. The amount of people that. My Lord. Come on, guys. On your website, I'm like, first off, this is a different event. It's an $8 entry fee. You got three different ski teams going. You have wakeboard tournaments. You got barefoot tournaments. You got jump tournaments. You got a bunch. It's a huge event. It's you're you're donating to the the skiers and the people right. that are riding, putting the show on, and everyone who helped set up, yeah, tore down. You so, know all the bar. You know everybody bartenders. It was 
it was that small few that I was just like, it's eight dollars. You're you're gonna complain about eight dollars. <laughs> Some of those old people, man. Those old ladies, they just walk through. I'm like, oh, we're having a, we're having yeah. a private, nah. Nah. <laughs> Like, all right. And then shout out to Jane, because she was like, no. You're paying. Who, and Jane is like a very sweet, unassuming girl. Mm-hmm. And she's like, no, it's not how this works. <laughs> Fuck you. Pay Get over me. there and pay that $8. Like Ray Liotta from Goodfellas. Oh, yeah, for Fuck sure. Fuck you, pay me. Well, I mean, if you would have been smart and you would have came the first day, you could have paid $10 for your two-day pass, and it would save you money. What they need to, I don't understand. the How is it not on the website? This helps the Aquanuts out. So how do they not work with the... This needs to be set up better for next year. I'm just saying, it needs to be on the website because I, like you said, I don't know how many people came up and said, on the website, it doesn't say nothing about this. Well, like I said, there's... The people that bitched the most were the ones that obviously had the most money. And that's what that's what was blowing my mind. Like, like you can clearly afford this. It's eight dollars. It's not like you're you're spending eight dollars and you're like, oh my god. I can't eat this week because they Remember <laughs> <laughs> that corn. It's like that corn broke the bank. So I just laughed. You know, and then of course I'm Doing the old carnival barker voice for a while. <laughs> yeah, the old. Tonight, eight dollar entry fee. <laughs> Free. Yeah, we had we had a lot of fun. It was fun working with you, and it was it was a good time. And uh, the rest of the crew um, that we were working with up there it was yeah, it was it was a good time. And like I said, the only thing that sucks is I wish I could have watched the show. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got to the end. We got to watch a little bit. Yeah. At 7 o'clock when we got off, we, we tore that down quick, too. Just two <laughs> oh, of yeah. us. Let's, let's get it done. Let's get in there. Because I, I was fucking starving, dehydrated. We both pissed out it, oil. Yeah. <laughs> I went and took a leak, and it looked like iced tea. <laughs> it was fucking bad. It, it was dark. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, boy. So we went and got our free meal, which those quesadillas hit. Yeah. Hit nicely, and I love corn on the cob too. When uh-huh. it's like festival corn on the cob, is there anything better than no, festival corn it on was the cob? So good because they they uh, like smoked it and buttered to the gill with as much salt as you want. It's yeah, the best. It's it's just hypertension right there. It was beautiful. I love it. And like I said, the event is so fun to me because I get to first off I get to see people I don't see all the time because. As much as we all like to, you know, dog on our hometown, <laughs> but we all love each other. It's like there's and there's never an issue there because everybody is just having a good time. Besides, you know, the fifteen old people that complained about a ten dollar ent- or eight dollar entry fee. I've been coming here for thirty years. <laughs> We've only been open for five, sir. <laughs> But no, it was uh, it was fun. I I enjoyed working with you because we, you and I always have the good banter. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You know. I mean, you <laughs> and then messing with people a little oh, bit. A little you know. bit. We it was a little did. bit, not, and not hey, too much. You gave out multiple business cards too. So yeah, uh, shout out. Let's so go. Sean I, wore his bare I, shoes. I had to. I had to represent. I had to represent my buddy. Like I said, I'm like, hey man. If anything, it's free advertisement. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Maybe I'll make a custom corn shoe next year. I hope so. Yeah, that'd be dope. And Dano wants I to had three designs ready to go. Dano wants to come on the podcast. And I told Dano, Dano the Mano, uh, my buddy for, jeez, I think I've known Dano longer than I've known you. Because I used to work down when we had it, so... Down at the beach in our town, there was this little hut that served burgers and sodas. It was, you know, like a concession stand, basically. At the beach. At the beach. And every summer, I'd work that concession stand. Because it was a sweat lodge. I mean, it, 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 it was <laughs> I can only imagine. 300 degrees in there. And But I got to hang out at the beach all day and serve burgers and just, you know, have fun, basically. Mm-hmm. And the lip smackers. 
the, uh, the the pickle on a stick. The pickle on a stick. The, uh, <laughs> the all the uh, Sundays that were we made a bunch of Sundays. And I miss that little hut. I miss that. If I could have got that flat top from that hut, it would be in my house right now. Yeah, it, all the flavor. It, oh, it was seasoned perfect. Call Guy Fieri. Tell him you know exactly where Flavor Town is. Yeah, it, Twin Lakes, Wisconsin, Lance <laughs> Park. What's up? But working down there, I got to meet so many people. Like, I became friends with a lot of the Aquanauts. And I am not a water skier. I'm not a water sport guy. I'm surprised. You have the body for it. Oh, I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm built like a swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I became friends with all these guys because working down there, and then we've known each other since we were, you know, I was, I think I started working down there. I was like 16. And I worked down there until I was like 22. Yeah. Every summer. Like, yeah. I was working third shift, getting off work and going and working the working hut. Working the hut. Those days were rough. <laughs> you want, and those are pre-energy drink days. Those are, Oh, no. Those are drinking as many Mountain Dews as you can and possibly popping a couple. Pre-energy drink. Possibly, How do these kids survive? Back possibly. Then? How did we do it? Possibly popping pop a couple of no-dos, too, just to keep the caffeine oh, rush going. <laughs> and, yeah, we, Dano and I became friends because of our love of pro wrestling. And... Uh, he calls me the ultimate enforcer, which is basically a pro wrestling nod. Yeah, me. I saw that on the schedule. Yeah. <laughs> Friday. My, my schedule was ultimate enforcer on Friday and then emission on Saturday. But, yeah, it was uh, it was fun. I, I love doing that stuff. I, and Dano, who is the voice of uh, the Pro Wakeboard Tour, and he's been doing that for a long time. He had his own podcast. He had the Golden Mike podcast. He's one of the reasons why I got into podcasting, actually. Him and uh, shout out to Colt Cabana, another pro wrestler who was one of the first was one of the first guys to have like a podcast. Which is Yeah. When you think back now, everybody I mean Who's Colt Cabana? Colt Cabana not... Colt Cabana was an independent wrestler. He still is kind of. He's a little bit past his prime now, but his uh he was uh, best friends with CM Punk until some legal shit happened, and then mm. they ain't friends no more. No, but uh, Colt had a uh, Colt Cabana had his podcast, and uh, Cole or Colt? Colt. 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 Okay. Those button down shirts that I, that I had. I said, Colt oh yeah, yeah. oh that's his shit. Yeah, that's his stuff. And uh, that when it that his podcast inspired Dano to start his podcast. So his interview style mirrored a little bit of Colt's. And I stole some from Dano. I stole from some from Colt when we do our interviews and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then after now, I just let it fly. I, our interviews are, I think, we just let our t- guests talk. We let them run. Well, yeah, because we, when we, when it's just us, we do, we, we hear enough of each other. It's like, yeah. I want to hear their shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have a guest. Like, you go. Like, just go. The last episode with, with Jamie, it was like, yeah, dude. Yeah, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. He's a fucking crazy, wild, talented wild motherfucker, boy. man. Like, a wild boy. When you say talented, like, I don't want to say jack of all trades because normally it's followed up with master of none, but, yeah. like, he, like, just just putting himself out in the, like, everything just out into the universe. Like, he's fucking doing it all. Rapping, art. Music, guitar, like he plays yeah. fucking every instrument. Like, yeah, it was, it was why it's, it's that was a good conversation. I had a great time. Yeah, it was the whole night was fucking, I mean, <laughs> it was fun. I mean, we had a live audience and they uh, didn't understand the concept of us recording and we could hear every word they're saying. We get excited. And you want to, like, join in the conversation. Yeah, but, it's like, but they were having we, separate conversations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were in the middle of our That's conversation. Right. It happens. I may or may not have thrown a cap at one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep them in line. No, nah, it was, but it was fun. It was a fun night. I mean, it was a wild night. Shit happened. Blood was shed. Blood was shed. Multiple times. Yeah. And it wasn't dudes. It was weird. 
No fighting. No fighting. We have no fighting policy here. Well, fighting this is good vibes only. One person fought the stairs. Yeah, and then my dogs. My dogs fought. Dogs fought. Rest in peace to Blades Balls. Yeah, <laughs> one of my dogs uh, got his nuts champed off. Hopefully that will calm them down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I don't know. The oh. other one's next. But it was long overdue. Yeah, Blade. Blade's still Blade. You know what I mean? He's not. He is. He's still Blade. He's not. I hope the ice isn't too much on the microphone here. Whatever, man. It's just us. It's ice. People are going to watch us and be like, where's Kayla? It's ice ice, baby. <laughs> so, shout out to the Bears. 4 0 in preseason. Yeah, let's talk football because uh, Kayla's not here. <laughs> She's she was she was exited. replaced by a basket of liquor. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, should we bring this up to? Oh, uh, we shouldn't show anything. No. No. <laughs> we shouldn't show anything. I mean, we'll lift the basket again just for the. Hold on. <laughs> when we say it's a laundry basket of liquor, it's a laundry basket of liquor. And That's my workout for the week. Yeah. Fuck. I'm gonna have to ice <laughs> up when I get home. <laughs> But uh, the Bears, man. A I'm perf- excited for football in general. A perfect uh, preseason. It's bittersweet, though, because, uh, I mean, summer's over. Yep, and it's in, we're, what, two weeks away from Labor Day? That's crazy. And that's it. Then it's fast forward to winter. And then here comes the shit. And let's be honest, this summer's been a little, uh, it's been fun. Like, we've had good times, but mm-hmm. it's been, weather-wise, it's been a little lackluster. A lot of rain. A lot of rain. A lot of rain. A lot of rain. A lot of... Someone say too much rain. Someone say... <laughs> China. <sighs> Trump don't trust China. China is asshole. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what but, is that from? <laughs> it was just a street interview. <laughs> <laughs> a street interview. Someone just offered that up? Yeah. That's what it came to his brain. <laughs> <laughs> Internet, Internet Hall of Fame right there. Oh, my God. And uh, <laughs> it's been so much rain and, like. Did you did you ever, like, blame it on it? or? Yes, I, I blame Rob and Dad. <laughs> because we blamed it on the rain. Yeah, you sure did. And uh, the weather hasn't been, like. Crazy hot. It's been comfortable outside. I saw that. I saw a meme. I just want to interject real quick. That's <laughs> it said Millie Vanilli watching all you guys on TikTok lip syncing <laughs> songs and getting famous, just all pissed off. There's a lot of that. I unfortunately have uh, found my drink's my, gone. Found myself. How uh, much time we got? Dude, we just started, baby boy. God damn it. We're I'm going to have to dig into this basket. We're 18 minutes in. And you might want to just run 18 and, minutes? You might want to just run and go grab a beer out of the fridge or something. But, <laughs> fuck, dude. It's going to be a tough one. What should I grab? What do you think? What's in there? Uh, ooh, you grab a banana happy dad. No, fuck, no. <laughs> I don't like seltzers. I don't know how you drink those Happy Dads. I like the fruit punch, and you can't find the fruit punch because that's their best flavor. I'm not going to lie to you. If I can find... It's too bubbly with not enough flavor. If you get... It's like a watered-down pop. Well, I'm not drinking pop anymore, and that's pretty much what I drink is seltzers. No. Because I'm you trying look like to... like a seltzer guy. Watch my figure. Are you watching it? Yeah, I'm watching it just fucking balloon. <laughs> But no, we it, this summer has been uh, weird, weather wise, and it's freaking me out because I, if we get all this water now, if that was snow, mm, yeah, in the Midwest, ain't no joke. That's that's a blizzard <laughs> every day. We'd have eight feet right now. Yeah, if it's if it snows like it rained, yeah. we're in for a it's, a rough go. So it is a rough go. Well, that's why we're a tough people in the Midwest. Tougher than a two dollar steak, some would say. <laughs> well, that's tough. That Put some tough. ketchup on that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just drizzled. You mean I? You, you mean I gotta eat this steak without ketchup? 
<laughs> Dude, full disclosure, I love steak with ketchup as a kid. Well, you're a kid. You like ketchup with everything. <laughs> everything, dude. Just ketchup. Is there ketchup on it? Okay, did I'll eat put, it. Did you ever put ketchup with your mac and cheese? I never did that. That's spaghetti in some people's houses. <laughs> 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 Not mine, but... No, ketchup never went in the mac and cheese. I'll tell you that. Ketchup for me has always been fries. Yeah. I don't do it on hot dogs. Because it's against the law in Illinois. Yeah, but we live in Wisconsin. Yeah, I know. I know what I like. But I hold my I hold I hold my roots <laughs> close. <laughs> very, they run deep. They run deep. They got a hold on you. So you're one of those fucking Illinois snobs, aren't you? You fucking fib. No, I am. Uh, I like every now and then I'll I'll throw ketchup on a brat. Sometimes the ketchup, you need it. You need to. Needs some kind of lubrication because yeah. so, sometimes the brats are a little overcooked. Yeah, maybe. yeah, a little crisp. The buns are a little too hefty for what you got, and not everybody has mustard in their house. What's your favorite brat? Like flavor wise, or yeah, what's just... a good brat? Hmm. I uh, I like a regular, just plain old brat. They're great, but our grocery store in town has like apple. Like the apple brats, and they have like peach ones I wanted to try, but peach, yeah, peach brat. It was like a peach brat with habanero, so it was gonna be sweet and spicy. What? But uh, if it comes down Jeez, to it's a like dating a Puerto Rican, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> my lord, uh, it's <laughs> those from experience. Uh, I'm more of. If they have an Italian sausage, I'll have the Italian sausage over brat. Over brat, I yeah. like brats a lot. I do, I do enjoy a brat, but I like the uh, spiciness of the Italian sausage, just flavor wise, flavor okay. profile wise. I don't, I don't like yeah, spice. I know black pepper is spicy for you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's it's, it's t- white people taco night yeah. over at at yeah. Mikasa. Yeah, uh, Je- Jeff's anti spice. All the time. I don't like to sweat, bro. <laughs> I just want to enjoy my food. Speaking I don't, of, speaking I don't of want sweating. <laughs> I don't want back feel like to like a workout. Back to TL Summer oh, Nights. I did sweat. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, I had, had a moment there. <laughs> epic tit sweat going. Only for like an hour. And it was, it was a strong. I felt like I was going through fucking menopause. I was like, what's happening? I'm having like hot flashes. I had like tits wet for like an hour. I had my extra shirt. I'm wiping it. I'm like, oh, geez, I'm turning customers away. Hence that old reason. lady's like, I'm not paying full price. Look at that guy's <laughs> tits. I, like I said, I, I'm, I wear an undershirt all the time because it saves the tits sweat. Oh, aren't you hot? I don't care. I don't want my other shirt. Yeah, I'm hot. Shit. But this one's absorbing it. Yeah. All this sweat <laughs> is gone. You know, it's a rough day at work when you can see. <laughs> I, so, full disclosure, I wear jeans at work no matter what. Because. Oh, the sh- no. The shit I work with is sharp. And I've got chunks missing out of my leg from walking past the pallet and just catching it. Yeah. So, I wear pants at work. I've gotten, I got home two weeks ago and it looked like I pissed out of my ass. Oh, <laughs> was like, no. There was a ring around the back of my pants from my back sweat going down the crack of my ass and just gathered in the back of my pants. <laughs> just hanging out. Oh, dude, it was, I took it off. I was like, yeah, these are going right in the washing machine. These are gross. <laughs> That's so much sweat. <laughs> so much. I, and I drink a gallon of water a day. That's, that's what they tell you to do. They also told me to stop eating salt. And every th- every other thing I've heard is you need salt. I drink salt water. Well, <laughs> I apologize to your liver. <laughs> I drink sugar water. <laughs> sugar water. <laughs> sugar water. No, we. Uh, no, we had a good time, man. We've been having a good time this summer. We've been I mean, I'm glad we have the guests we do have we have coming on. It's 
it makes this worthwhile. I mean, honestly, it's we get to learn about new people. We get our dipshittery out on the internet. Because <laughs> we're, I don't know, we're entertaining fellas. Sure. My mom thinks so. So does mine. Fuck you, Jeff. How dare you? Fuck you, Sean. <laughs> we got to find a fuck you, Sean. Yeah. I, I found a song. That it's... <laughs> There's there's a lot of Jeff hate going on. The name of the song, the name of the band is Super American. And the song is called R.I.P. Jeff. That's the name of the song? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Sorry, and, that's too much. That's too far. Well, at the beginning of the song, he called he named his ego Jeff. And then he said, Fuck you, Jeff. So he's saying fuck you to his ego. But why Jeff? I don't know. Jeff. A gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> His name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. <laughs> no, but we, you know. That one cursed me. I can't go anywhere without introducing myself. Someone yells from the back, My name's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jamie Tatum. God damn it. You handsome son of a bitch. Again. Best gambit ever to play gambit. Outside the cartoon. Live action gambit. Live action gambit. Go see Deadpool. If you haven't. And Wolverine. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Go see it. I want to see it again. I want to take the boys, the twins. I'll go for the third time. Twins? I'll go for the third time. Yeah, let's go. I want to see it in 3D, though. That might be too much. Overstimulation. I'm, what the fuck is going on here? I'm not going to lie to you. This is uh, might be a short podcast this week. What do you mean? We're flowing right now. Patty got a pee, baby. Again? Yeah. I'll talk to the people. Uh, well, I'm going to go take a piss. <laughs> well, not yet. Wait. For what? <laughs> what do you mean for what? Don't just pee now. I have this to. This is unbelievable. Jeff, tell the story about uh, that time that you, uh, how you lost your virginity and go. How I lost my virginity. That was an accident. It was in a card game. <laughs> no, it was not. So we're here. You guys, this is going to be, unfortunately, audio only. YouTube uh, gets a little sneak peek, but I'm going to dig into this basket right now. I literally have a laundry basket full of booze. Um, Jeez, I don't even know what to do here. What's the one? What do we got here? Cherry? Original cherry? No, I'm going to pass on that. That's the one he told me. He's clanking around. Here we go. Chartreuse. This thing looks green. Smells great. Let me give it a little pull here. Well, Sean goes and tinkles. He's just a sweet baby boy. Don't let him lie to you. He was super nice to all the old ladies this weekend. He likes them old. The older, the better. He doesn't like to rob the cradle. He likes to get the old uh, Denny's discount, as they say. <laughs> he likes to eat, so uh, he likes the old bitches, which is fine. All right, so this is a pro what? product of France. Alcohol volume, 55%, which translates to I have no fucking idea. Uh, looks green, looks delicious. Let's see, maybe an apple. Oh, God, this smells like fucking rubbing alcohol. I'm going to give it a pull. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ooh, that's like a ooh, black licorice mixed with I don't fucking know. That's horrible. I'm going to save this for Sean. Sean's going to do one when he gets back for leaving me alone. You don't leave your bros behind. No man left behind. So, yeah, it's been a week. Um, we're sorry we left you um, without a dope beat to step to. And Sean got me a drink. My man. Thank you, bro. I just did this. Oh, God. So you're going to do it? Ooh, that's... Ah, it's got a black licorice. What is this? What How do you pronounce it? Chartreuse. Chartreuse? Chartreuse. It's French? It's French? 
Oh, it's death in a cup is what it is. <laughs> you do that right now. Make sure you got enough in there. Mother. Let me oh. see. You didn't squeeze it like uh, no, I like Dad does, no, did you? No, I did not. That's a good mix. Thank you, sir. Dude, you pissed and made me a drink. Yeah. You were you weren't gone that long. Dude, I'm quick. I had told you I had to pee. Oh. I had to pee. That was good. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I had to. I you you hammered that one down. I'm I'm proud of you. You're back to work. You're yeah, working finally. Man. You're working. So I, man again. I could do a shot for the working man. You did a shot right on, brother. Thanks, Welcome brother. back. No, congratulations. Welcome back. I know you've been uh battling finding something and well what's crazy is i've never had well first like my first real job i was there for like 15 years yeah. and then everything like after that was like i knew someone they got me in you know i just I've, i'm a very hard worker always been like let's go 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 and uh i've always had jobs and then i had the uh i worked for waste management garbage truck driver i absolutely Loved it. I would have worked there till the day I fucking died. I loved my route. I loved everything about it. And then uh, they just lost a bunch of accounts. So they laid off 26 people. Like dudes that were working there for like 10 years got laid off. Well, yeah, and you were the lowest of the low. On the and I was, pole. yeah, on the totem pole. So I just got laid off and I was like, I'll find another job. And it was just like apply, 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 apply. And I don't know if it's because I got forty, so it's it's I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's you know. It was just so fucking hard to find a job, and plus, like, full disclosure, when you're working at make waste management down in Illinois, I mean that's what they say. You live in Wisconsin, you work yeah. in Illinois. Um, I mean, a you know a good living, so it's hard to like, you know, suck it up and get a job for. Yeah, it's it's hard to eat the shit sandwich. Yeah, so. I'm back to work eating the shit sandwich. Um, but yeah, I'm bringing, bringing, bringing in some paycheck. money. Yeah. We got a paycheck. Shoes are, he's got like four pairs of shoes sitting over there that he's working on right now. Yeah. So that's going to be good, uh, good Supple- side cash to supplement the uh, extra. <laughs> no, and, so, yeah. Thanks, man. And yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm never like worried about you when it comes to shit like that because I know you. Bust ass, you work. Yeah, I, I like to work. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, when you're sitting at home, you kind of lose your uh, edge, if you will, because mm-hmm. you get because you get real comfortable. But once that unemployment runs mm-hmm. out, that comfort level goes to like, oh, sheer shit. panic. <laughs> oh, real quick. And I'm the same way. I, you know, I've should. April will be 10 years I've been where I'm at. Mm-hmm. And before that, I was 20 years at the restaurant. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't mind working because it's a fucking necessity. You need to work. You have to. It keeps you honest. Well, in this economy, you can Bro. afford eggs. <laughs> My dogs eat eggs. Three fifty a dozen at Dollar General now, bro. And that place is cheap. You see my dog's coats though. Shiniest on the block. Shiniest, shiniest coats ever. If you guys don't know this, put eggs in your dog food. Their coats are top notch. And then in the sheddings, really minimal. Show too. dogs. They would have been good breeding dogs, but they uh, yeah, their balls are gonna be gone. They kept beating the shit out of each other, so it's. Yeah, save the uh, save the testosterone, I guess. Mm-hmm. But no, man, it's you know, I I enjoy looking at the uh, the struggle of our government trying to say that they've created all these jobs <laughs> for who? Well, uh, the the the. the the problem I have is when they mention the jobs that they've created, they're coming off of COVID. Yeah. So it's they took the people that went back to work and they counted that as creating jobs. It's like Did you did you see <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? See the new report that came out? 
Mm-mm. that they inflated the numbers by 818,000 jobs. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot, but like I said, it's it was from COVID. People were laid off well, during COVID. 100%. And then they're like, look at all these jobs are created. It's like, oh, the people who went back to work? I, yeah, the companies that opened back up? Yeah, that's, that's, that's like a, the biggest loophole I've ever heard of in my life. I made the mistake of watching some of the DNC stuff. Or what about the porn stars that went back to work? Oh, they worked right through that. Oh, did they? <laughs> got COVID. I got COVID. Let's just. Was there COVID porn? Did they have? They were like fucking with masks on. I think so. I'm into that. That might be my new search history. <laughs> Hanging <laughs> with a mask. Yeah, because they got those. I just want to see their eyes. <laughs> They're busted ass lips she's gotta give the hummer she's like <laughs> <laughs> no no she's gotta be safe sean she's gonna have a hole in that mask <laughs> how's that any different from going did you see the picture of the kids playing instruments yeah with they the had hole. the hole in the mask while they're blowing on the jazz horn <laughs> For those who don't know, the jazz horn is the saxophone. <laughs> any kind of horn. Could be anyone. It, it was. Could be a flute. <laughs> but one night, Jeff couldn't. He's like, Lost Boys, you know the guy? He's playing the, the jazz horn. No, that was Francis. Uh, it wasn't Francis. That was Francis when we were talking about Lethal Weapon. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> There's jazz a jazz horn, horn that, <laughs> that plays every five fucking minutes. Actually, that's a good drinking game. Every time the saxophone plays a lethal weapon, you gotta drink. Oh man, I saw something the other day that talked about the uh, when they were snorting cocaine, talking about making the uh, Lost Boys movie, and they're like, "You know what we need? <laughs> <laughs> a sweaty <laughs> bodybuilder <laughs> that plays the that saxophone." Plays the saxophone. <laughs> Who is that guy? I'm not looking it up because you don't, don't know it. his name. No. I figured you'd just pull it right out. No, because honestly, I've seen Lost Boys twice. What? How dare you? I have it on Blu ray. How many times have you watched it? Probably 300 times. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> no, I just have it in my collection. It's one of those ones where it was in that. Three, it was in the basket. The three for ten. <laughs> it's in the basket. And I was like, ooh, yeah. Let me get on this. That's That was actually one of my uh, my favorite date ideas was go to Walmart and go to that basket and turn away and just grab a movie out of it. And that's the movie for the night. Nice. And then you get all your snacks and stuff. Oh, we did play the game the other day, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Fight scene. We had a drink every time someone got kicked in the face. <laughs> Roundhouse kicked in the face. You got a drink. A hammered. Yeah, you, and it's a three minute clip. So let's be honest. You're just. It was a good time. We, good times have been had this summer. Yeah, like I said, it's you know. I'm in a very booze fueled. I'm in a very good place right now. Mm. Pretty happy. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me more. Like right now. Yeah, actually, like, since uh, the beginning of this month. Are you going to elaborate? Yeah, I went on a date with a lady. Mm. It's working out very well. Some kind of lady tiger. She's the one that had the battle with the stairs. First time (laughs) meeting my friends. Did you see the marks on the wall from her cup? (laughs) Thank you for reminding me. Uh, I'm bringing the cup over, and it's going in the... Hall of Fame. Oh, 100%. Us. It has to. Yeah. It has to. I, I knew you would agree with me, too. I, it has to. Yeah. I, I told her, I go, yeah, your cup's going to be uh, in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Shout out to you, bro. I'm happy for you, man. I, I'm I'm extremely happy. Okay. I, like, surprise. Never too late to find love. It really isn't. I uh, At your wedding, I said. You found love? No. <laughs> Definitely not. But, uh. At your wedding, in my <laughs> definitely not in in my speech at your wedding, I said, "One day, hopefully, you do the same for me." Probably not going to happen, but you, know, you never know. Now you never know. Now, never now, know. now, now, the, the, the woman, 
creeped open. A crack. Little bit. There's a little crack in it. There's a little crack. Yeah, in shout it. out to you, bro, man. Yeah, I'm really happy. She's awesome. She works with your wife now too, which was another. It was weird how all yeah you were just like listing things. So her and I share the same birthday. Yeah, and then <laughs> her brother shares Bella's birthday. Then we're both left-handed, which once again, what the fuck? And then because uh, only seven percent of the population is left-handed, right? And not many females. It's it's a male-dominated hand. I don't know. I I've never met another left-handed female. Really? And then, uh, yeah, applied for a job, and it just happened to be where your wife works. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, what are the odds? Yeah, it, it worked out, and she enjoys it. Her first week was this week. She said she kicked ass, so I'm proud of her. Proud of you. You got a job. She's got a job. Shit. Oh, God. Things are looking up. It this podcast be. is taking off. It might we be. got 12 followers. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out. 15 or something. Like and subscribe and share. For the love of God, man. Come on. You guys, I posted it up earlier. You know, a lot of people support people that don't even know they exist. Like, how many people follow Logan Paul? That motherfucker don't know you exist. <laughs> he don't give a shit about you. But he's got a beautiful mane of hair. He's a great wrestler. Does a good job in the ring. Say what you want about those guys. They're marketing geniuses. Oh, I, I, I can't talk shit. Those guys have made millions of dollars being dipshits on the internet. That's what we're trying to do. Come on. We need some hey, I would dipshit like to just debauchery. Be, I'd just like to be a thousandaire on the internet. I don't need to be a millionaire. I'm just looking for, like, quarters. Yeah. Can I get laundry money? I saw a guy the other day had the best sign. It was, uh, God, what the hell was it? I don't want to take up too much time trying to think. <laughs> Sorry. So he had, a, I think he was in a mall or something, and he had a sign, and he said, give me a tip if you think your wife is hot. <laughs> it was like, you have to tip. Well, especially if she's with you. Mm-hmm. She ain't with you. I don't know why. Fuck you. <laughs> Get fucked, buddy. <laughs> just when the ring comes off, just walk past him. <laughs> well, that's... I like the one where... Have you ever seen it? The guy's on a skateboard. He's wearing, like, a white suit. And, like, kicks the skateboard up to the thing. And this homeless guy's got four or five cups out. And one's, like, food, shelter, weed, and something else, something else. Yeah. And the guy does a kickflip, picks his board up, walks over, like reaches in his pocket, pulls out a bag of weed, and drops in the weed thing. And the homeless guy's like, ah. <laughs> "Hell yeah, yeah brother!" It's, it's you know, it's little things, folks. I gotta enjoy the little things. Yeah, you get you know, we we goof, we have fun, but in all seriousness, man, this is like I, I've said it before. This is therapy for me on here. So when we miss. A show, I'm like, shit, we're letting people down. Like, I I think we, I get, I still get messages from our friends that are like, what the fuck, man? No show this week? What's yeah. going on? Are everybody okay? We're fine. We just had a very busy weekend. Life gets in the way. Yeah. We would have recorded Friday, but uh, it would have been a mess. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been a mess, which, which I'm sure some of the people would have been into. If you want to see messes, go back to our original shows. <laughs> what are you talking go about? Back to the Those were gold. The Garage Day shows. Oh, my God. Where we we're just... Flying by the seat of our pants, just shit bag wasted. Hammered in the amount of cigarettes that were smoked. We need to do like an old school, just shit bag wasted show. I'm down. But we right gotta, now? No. We got 15 minutes. How drunk can we get in 15 minutes? <laughs> What's with, in this with, basket? With that basket, we can get pretty tuned up. Bring out that fucking uh, that Polish shit in the plastic <laughs> plastic jar. Why, do we need to start a car? <laughs> <laughs> Are 
Are you running low on gas in the Tahoe? Sure. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> not this week. Unbelievable. We, we need we need Kayla here for that show. Because Kayla, is my lady, Kayla's a good drunk on the show. Mm. <laughs> Let me reiterate: good mood, Kayla. Good mood, show. drunk Kayla. Good mood, drunk Kayla. Oh, and we didn't talk about it. so. We went to the after party for TL Summer Nights, mm-hmm. and we went to the outskirt bars first, just because we didn't want to deal with all the people. So we're, I'm eventually we're just like, screw it, let's go over there. We're out. Our friends were out with us too. Mm-hmm. We took over the dance floor and cleared that bitch out. I was done. They didn't know what hit them. It was. That was really a fun night. Do we people work? just not like dance anymore? I'm confused. Do they just stand around? I'm. I'm. What? What does this generation do? I don't know, but we got that string dance tomorrow night, and I plan on fucking cutting a rug. So it's Ooh, DJs yeah. all night. Yeah. I think. I'm ready. I th- yeah. I think Is it DJs all night? Yeah. I don't know if there's a live band or not, but it's. I think the sh- band last year kind of ruined it. Yeah, they weren't all that great. That was the lady that said she looked like Taylor Swift. She looked like Trailer Swift. <laughs> yeah, that perfectly describes it. <laughs> but the year before, they had national touring band on radio, Royal Bliss. Mm-hmm. That, that was fun. That was it was fu- packed. It was packed. I hope for the same this year. I I just plan on us and our little circle it's just good vibes i got concert enhancers so (laughs) (laughs) we're gonna have a good time but uh if you don't have friends that you could go and just be your goofy ass self with we'll be your friends join us man come out and party with us we'll put it this way jeff and i are both at the age now where we don't get embarrassed. Let, let, why are we getting embarrassed about anything anymore? We're too <laughs> fucking old to care. <laughs> I don't care. It's go out, go sing karaoke, even if you can't fucking carry a tune in a bucket. Go and just go have fun. There's this world's got so much. You got so much stress in this fucking world now. So much bullshit. Fuck it. Go out, have a good time, yeah, and enjoy world. yourself. Fuck worrying about bullshit. If you don't drink, that's fine. You can still go out and have a good time. I did it for three years. Had a blast every weekend. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. The end of the night was always me wrapping wires and loading a <laughs> truck while... I Jeff, was raccoon-eyed. <laughs> Jeff was raccoon-eyed. Folded Pack a, of Marlboro Lights deep and, and folded a four pizza, fish bowls. Folded a pizza in half and eat it like a taco. <laughs> Not giving anybody anything. Yeah, I did that. That's all right. You were allowed to be selfish. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's you. You gotta have fun in life, or else, man. What's the fucking point? Yeah, because this is all we get. Like I missed out on a Sunday fun day. <laughs> that was. I thankfully missed out on that Sunday fun day because the amount of booze you guys were drinking. There's when? A, when BJ was dancing on the table. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was such a good time. What an impromptu yeah, Sunday it, fun day. They send me a picture of them at the pool, and I'm like, dude, I'm cook, I was in the middle of meal prepping and getting my shit ready for the week. We drank two jars of apple pie. <laughs> the amount of... TikTok, Ugh. TikTok, and just other debauchery, fucking content that came out that night was was worth its weight in gold. But yeah, it's but see, but also, I'm bummed that I missed that night because it looked like you guys had a blast. It um, looked like you guys had a really good time. It was a good time. It's a good time. Good and time. That, and that's what that's what tomorrow's going to be. Well, tonight. 
Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> we're going to go out. We're going to have a good time. Then next week, we're going to talk about it. And we're going to laugh because we're going to remember shit that we forgot during the week. And it's good. You know, <laughs> someone holds on to certain. There's certain shit that we hold on to and don't talk about. But then it comes out of the podcast. And it's hilarious. Because yeah. it's unbelievable. <laughs> Sometimes. We're going to get into it. I'm taking concert enhancers. We're going to be we're going to have a good time tomorrow. I'm excited. For sure. The ladies You're coming. excited. I feel the nipples. <laughs> Macho man. Uh, yeah. You. So, I need to go buy some shirts. <laughs> Why? I got I got so many shirts. Well, you gotta buy some more. I, I gotta buy some just plain shirts because I look like I, I dress like a fucking fifteen year old. <laughs> you got a woman now. You gotta start fucking Dude, she, getting your shit together. She's as weird as we are. She loves me for <laughs> so that's all that matters. Good, good. And that's the best part about it. It's the keep why keep like I said. We don't give a fuck anymore. It's it's the easiest relationship I've ever been. Good. You want to go out? Let's do it. Sure. You want to stay home? Sure. Fuck yeah. You're in that Netflix and chill stage. <laughs> Dude, I'm... <laughs> I'm in the... You want to do something cool, you don't want to do something cool. You want to go out with your friends, go ahead. I don't have to come with Yeah. You. Full trust. That's the biggest thing, I feel like. A full... Trust, because she knows what she's you got. You young cats don't she's know nothing about all that. All of this, how can you? You young cats, how can you go out and just when you got this at home? I feel like trust is the biggest thing in a relationship. Hundred percent, dude. I mean, it's the biggest thing. Like I said, man, I fully trust her. I am not worried one bit. You want to go out with your friends? Go out with your friends. Yeah. Because guess what? She shows me the same amount of trust. I remember when I first started uh, dating Kayla, and she'd be calling me. I wasn't answering. Mm -hmm. Like, normally she'd freak out, and she's like, yeah, he's playing zombies. (laughs) I was playing Call of Duty zombies. Oh, that was my shit. I'm like, dude, get a crawler. Someone needs to get a crawler. I got to piss. Call Kayla. (laughs) I got to take a leak. Get a goddamn crawler. Yeah, no, it's... Like I said, it's weird. It's weird being happy. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. It's weird being happy. Hey, you should be happy. Everyone should be happy. Yeah. Do what makes you happy. And you know what makes me happy? I make shoes. It makes me happy. You know what makes me happy? Doing this podcast with my best friends. Oh, Sean. And hanging out with my dog. And now hanging out with my lady. Shout out, bro. And hey. Get after it, you fucks. They met her, so she passed the test. She's as, just as weird as we She's are. in. She's fucking in. She already has the blood oath. Yeah. <laughs> She's in. We sealed it in blood. Literally. <laughs> There's fucking carnage all over down my stairs. Put it this way, we had to power wash the house. No, how dare you. There's so much blood. There's so much blood. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Should we send this off? Should we dig into this basket? You want to do one more? Let's on do the one more. Come on, bro. Come on now. You pick one. I picked uh, the France. Should we do the 78? The Je ne sais quoi. The Should 78? What does that even mean? The 78. Old trusty? This is a bottle from 1978. Damn. Yeah, let's bring it full circle because we talked about the aged. This is an aged bottle of Crown Royal. <laughs> Can you, you, you got it? Well, I'm fucking banged up in the shoulder area, so it's kind of hard for me. Mm. Kind of hard for me to fucking do shit like that. You are old. Hey, I don't <sighs> deny that remark. But. We're going to drink this one to us, to the gentleman's den. 
episode 102. 102. To you guys, too. Salute. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank everybody, yeah. Thank you to everybody that's ever been on this motherfucker. Cheers. We're going to keep doing it. There we go. Whether you like it or not. Exactly. Oh, the balls on this guy. That was a zip. I'm going to swallow the zip. <laughs> so that was tough. <laughs> that was tough. It's wet. It's moving around. I just find it funny that you just. <sighs> fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, Sean. <laughs> I just find it funny. So I did the tequila tasting when we were down in uh, Cabo. It does help. So they told you how to taste tequila. Did this whole fucking spiel, and then they teach you how to drink it. You know when you normally drink it, it burns down the throat. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to take it, swish it in the mouth for like five seconds or so. Kind of get the mouth pleasure. And killing off all the bacteria in your mouth too. Yep, and then swallow it. And 100%, I will not lie, it you know, normally burns the throat. It kind of, you get a little mouth burn. And then the throat is fine. Well, yeah, because you're burning off. It's basically the alcohol. So anytime I normally do a shot that I've never had before, I will take it, swish it a little bit, <laughs> and then swallow it. <laughs> and uh, so I tried to swish it, and I had a zin in my mouth. And, uh, yeah, it uh, it got all fucked up. Because the zin was just swirkle, swirling. And you super powered the rest of the nicotine that's in that zin. Yeah, probably that day. <laughs> My lord. Well, from us to you, thanks again for listening and watching. Go like, go subscribe. Do a comment. Share it with your friends. Whatever. What do you want to see us do? We got a basket here. We got a basket of liquor. I don't know. We'll drink it all one night. All of it. In one night. And this guy. Oh. Can I pull it out? Plastic. Don't trust vodka and plastic. It's going to taste exactly how you think it's going to taste. Like plastic bottle vodka. <laughs> Love you, bro. And with that being said, for Jeff, I am Sean. Thanks again for coming in and listening to another fun-filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. Go Bears. We will be back next week, possibly with a guest, possibly not. Kayla should be back next week. Once again, go to under or at Kicks and Canvas underscore 223. Check out what Jeff's doing. Go to Small Town Infamous on Instagram, as well as all the other different Instagrams I got. The Unselfish Mind. Check that out. You'll, uh, send us your shit if you want a shout out. Yeah. We'll get free sh- you know, some podcasts say f- free shout out, no free shout out. We get free shout outs here. Free. Free. Free 88. We hand them out for free. See you next week, folks. Thanks. <laughs>